What's up guys, this is Yasser. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasser's Fit Frag. And today I'm going to talk about another set of cheap and sexy perfumes which are under 1300 rupees. So in case you haven't watched my previous series on cheap and sexy perfumes, I'll be giving those links in the video description area. You can check them out. So today I've got about five different perfumes which are under the cheap and sexy category. So coming in at number five is Ajmal Carbon. Now this is a fresh and spicy perfume. It has that nice little citrus opening with some pepper and cloves. So that's the main note that I get in this one. So if you like nice fresh citrus scent with a little spiciness of pepper and cloves, then this is definitely a good choice. But if you're expecting a great projection and lasting, I don't think this is something meant for you because it has a very soft projection. It projects about one hour and it gives a lasting of six to eight hours as a skin scent. So you would not really sense the smell after four to five hours because it's more of a skin scent. And even when it comes to projection, you cannot really expect this to project more than one hour because that's what I get on my skin. Now, if it suits your skin a little better than what it suits my skin, then probably it might project better on your skin, but it smells really good. Nothing unique about this. It is generic, but it suits for any occasion for that matter and any season. So that's the best part about this. It is very safe scent. You can easily wear it for any occasion and all around the year. So coming in at number four is Rasasi Royal Blue. Now this is a fresh aquatic scent with some musky and slight woody base. So a beautiful fresh aquatic scent for the summers. In case you like that safe aquatic type of scents, then this is definitely a good buy because for the price of 1000, you cannot really expect something better than this because it is done really nice and it easily gets noticed, easily liked by people as well. So coming to the performance, it projects about two hours and it gives a lasting of six to eight hours again, depending on the weather and your skin chemistry. Now coming in at number three is Abdul Zafran Oud 24 hours. Now this is a clone of Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Now, from my personal taste, I actually prefer this one over Tom Ford Black Orchid because that is not one of my favorite scents, but this has that beautiful vanilla base along with that Black Orchid feel. So that is what I really enjoy in this one. So though the name says Oud 24 hours, you would hardly get much of Oud in it. It is more of that Tom Ford Black Orchid vibe with a nice amped up vanilla base. So that's what this one smells like. And even when it comes to performance, it easily projects about two to three hours and gives me a lasting of 10 to 12 hours as a skin scent. But I've heard people saying that they get about 15 hours plus. Maybe it suits their skin better than mine, but I get about 10 to 12 hours. So gorgeous performance and a great projection as well. So in case you're looking for a good performing Black Orchid clone with a nice vanilla base, this is definitely that you should try. Now coming in at number two is again from the house of Ardal Zafran. Now this is Midnight. Oud. Now this is a clone of Amwaj Interlude. I haven't smelled that to be honest, but majority agree that this is one of the best clones of Amwaj Interlude. Now to me, this one has a very nice cardamom and incense note. So a beautiful incense based fragrance with a nice cardamom opening. So I really enjoy the opening in this one because of that nice cardamom note. And then in the dry down, you would get more of that burning incense vibe. Now, though the name says Midnight Oud, you would hardly sense any Oud because it's more of that incense note. So in case you like incense based fragrance with a nice little cardamom on top, this is definitely a must try because even when it comes to performance, it has a great performance. It projects about three to four hours if you're indoors and it gives me a lasting of 12 hours. So on clothes, it can even go above that, but on skin, I could easily sense it for 12 hours. Now, do not wear this during the summers because it is mainly a winter scent and strictly a winter scent and i would rather suggest that instead of indoors you rather wear it outdoors because that incense note is a little too loud in the first two to three hours so not many would like that if you wear it indoors so i suggest that you wear it for outdoors during the winter time because when it lingers in the air it smells really gorgeous if you like incense based fragrance so that was midnight oud by Ardal Zafran. Now coming in at number one is from the house of Jenny Glow. This is Freesia Pear. Now just like the name, it has a very nice Freesia note and some tangy pear. The pear is not very prominent in this one, but it has that beautiful Freesia note. Now Freesia is something which you usually find in body lotions. So it has that nice little luxurious body lotion vibe which you get in three star, five star hotels or resorts that you stay. So beautiful scent if you like that nice 
resort types of body lotion type of smell then this is definitely that you should try now when it comes to performance it is very soft and airy but it does stay for a good six to eight hours though when i wear it on myself i don't really sense the smell after three to four hours because like i said it is very soft and airy but others would definitely sense it around you if they have a very sensitive nose who can smell even the slightest of fragrance they will definitely sense it on you even after four to five hours because what happened was when I wore it to office, I sprayed about eight sprays and then I thought it all vanished in three hours. I reapplied about four to five sprays again. And after I reapplied, after five hours of reapplying, one of my colleague asked me when he was walking by me, he said he really likes that fragrance that I was wearing. He really enjoyed it smelling on myself. So like I said, it still projects, but the one wearing it may not be able to sense it due to olfactory fatigue because it is a very nice, soft and airy kind of fragrance but definitely smells luxurious and it costs very less it costs about 600 though it is a 30 ml but the smell quality is definitely done nice so in case you like that nice body lotion kind of fragrance this is definitely a must try jenny clo freesia and pear it costs only 600 and that's why i'm putting it at number one because it smells of nice quality for that price though the projection is not heavy it is still decent and it gives me a lasting of six to eight hours as a skin scent so that was about it let me know in case you have tried any of these comment down in the comment section keep sharing the videos thanks for watching again cheers